Hi, I'm Louis from EV Europe and I'm going to show you how to correctly wire up your high voltage cables to your EV hype motor. Right here we have 50 millim square millimeter cable shielded. Show you how to put on your uh, cable lug through the gland and connect the uh, EMC uh, shielding to your cable gland. Uh, we're going to do the negative side here. Uh, we're going to place a mark on 225 millimeters length or 22 and a half centimeters which is going to strip the outside uh, orange once this is taken off you can see the shielding around the cable which is this metal around the copper we're gonna take it off, but not on every part of it. First I'm gonna get rid of this part. We're gonna lay it next to our measure tape. And on 17 centimeters, I'm gonna place a new mark. And from the beginning of the cable to the mark, we're going to take this shielding off. Which can be a little bit hard to do. Uh, once you have removed the other part of the shielding, you have to check if you didn't cut through any of the inside of the cable. So you make sure that the shielding is not able to touch the copper. As you can see right here, I didn't go through anywhere. And we're going to put the heat shrink around it. You want to leave around one and a half centimeters of uh, shielding right here, which is going to go into the gland. And the gland, gland is going to clamp onto this part to make sure it makes connection to the ground. Once that part is done, we're going to connect the cable lug to it. I've already stripped it right here. If you place it down and you put the cable lug next to it, you can easily measure how long you need to uh, strip it back in order to go as much uh, as deep in as possible. This can be a little bit of a pain sometimes. You want to push as much copper in there as possible. And right here you can see if you put it through to the end. So for the clamping of this, you need a special tool, which we have right here. Uh, you can buy this set from us or get it somewhere else. There are different types of clamps in here for different sizes. So make sure you check it always that you have the correct size. Right now we have a 50 uh, millimeter square cable, which is right here. So this is the one we're gonna use. We always clamp it down at the back of the lock, which is shown right here. Then you can push it as hard as in as you can and clamp it in. The reason we start at the back of the lock is because when you start on the front, you're going to push the copper out, and in this way, it's going to stay in. But we're going to give it another clamp, and you should always. Uh, clamp as much times as possible for the length of your cable lock. So in this case, we've clamped it twice. You can test it by try pulling it off to see if it's clamped right. This one is corrected properly. The copper that didn't go all the way in, we're gonna cut it off. But always try to get as much in as possible. Once all of this is flush, we can tape it in. On the other side, which we have already clamped for you, which will main go to your main contactor or your uh, fuse, you want to make sure that the uh, shielding, which is right here, is cut away far enough back that it's not able to touch the copper. Um, 
in that case you make sure uh, you don't have any high voltage uh, to your uh, uh, car. So we're going to put some electrical tape on this. Uh, this is not necessary, but we here at EVU really like to do it, just to give it a little extra protection and it looks nice. We're going to do the same on the other side, where you can still see the shielding. I want to go all the way around over the shielding. After that we are ready to put some heat shrink around it to cover it up completely. Uh, this length will be set for your vehicle a specific length, which we cannot describe for you right now. Um, this is an instruction video, so we've made the entire cable on the table here. Uh, make sure that you can place the heat shrink around the shielding uh, before you put it through the gland in the EV hype. But try to make sure you put the gland on uh, when it goes through the gland, because you can damage the gland a little bit, or it will not go through. It uh, depends on the size cable you will need um, with the when you put the cable lock on. So wait for that with a little bit. We've already made the exact same with the positive side. This side will in most cases go to your uh, battery service plug and the other side will go to the EV hype which is set at a different length as the negative which I will show you in the motor why. So when I placed across our measure tape you can see we've cut the outer side of the cable to around 31 and a half centimeters we leave the shielding to around 27 centimeters and also leave about a centimeter or a centimeter half of shielding and for the gland you will do the same as on the negative. Uh, right now we're at the EV hype. We have put the cables through the glands. Uh, this is the point where you want to put on the cable lugs. Um, please put them on after you put them to the cable lugs because you can damage the uh, EMC gland uh, which is placed inside here. Uh, the negative side we're going to push through all the way until the gland clamps on the shielding. Then we're going to place this grey part on it, uh, which will make it watertight. We're going to turn it. For now I will leave it hand tight, but please do make sure you tighten these all the way. First we have the positive side here which is going to this connector right here. And always make sure when you working on these cables that there is no high voltage on it. The negative side we're going to place on this connector right here. Uh, the cables are uh, placed down. We're going to tighten them. Then. Uh, this mode is for Citroen DS, which we are converting right now. And as you can see, we have made this plastic plate just for easy connections for you. So it's not you're not able to mix up any of the other bolts or which we use in the complete assembly. Once these are tightened down, uh, you're going to check again if these are all the way tightened down. And that's it for the EV hype connection and you're ready to go to the next part which we will show you how to connect the low voltage systems of the EV hype.